Where are you? What was that? Whatever the hell that was, it sounded pretty damn crispy. It sounded like bacon sizzling. What the hell? I'm pretty sure that's a secret. I don't like where this is leading. Then again, it could lead to a... Nowhere important. Nope. Nowhere important. <sighs> this game just loves to be a total tease. Don't mind me, just grabbing a bunch of ammo. So how many secrets have we missed? Hmm, doesn't look like we've missed too much. Looks like there's an area down beneath us that I missed, but... Oh, yeah, no. Nope. Yeah, okay, so, so far, nothing. So far, nothing doing. Just, uh... Just a bunch of snakes trapped in a pit. By the way, uh... Even if I finish this series, I'm probably still going to go back and just do sort of a quick run of the bonus levels. Just in case I didn't get all of them like I was supposed to. So, according to this... Okay, well that is one secret that doesn't seem to want to open up. There had better not be another lich waiting right around the corner. That's going to open. You're not going to trick me into thinking that it won't. Is that where the lich is? No. There is a phoenix rod, though. What station is this? E5M3. Right. All right, so how the hell do I get in there? Oh god. I... Oh, 
Oh, thank goodness. I could have sworn... By all accounts, I said save. Oh, I... You have no idea how lucky I am right now. I don't think anybody in the world realizes just how lucky I am. Okay, so this time... Let us... Ready up our... Single... Tome. Uh, I hope I have enough ammo for this. Just barely. I had just enough. Oh, well, that's a little disappointing. Ah, uh, hey! Free health! Fear the gauntlets. Fear the gauntlets of red Sith lightning. you are there. Okay, well, uh... I think I found the secret exit! Skin of Disparl. Is that how that's pronounced? Skin? E5M9. This is the last secret level. Oh, what the hell? Ah. You guys are dicks. Slaughtering everything I see with the power of celery. Twas the celery stick that was mightier than the sword. At least in this game. I mean, once we get to Hex, and that, that's going to be quite a different story. Then it's going to be the shield. Ah, uh, I do not miss those shields. Okay, so there's the blue door. I have no memory of this place, by the way. In fact, I don't even know if I ever got here. At all. I don't even know if I ever started caring about the secret levels after, uh... Part 3. Where the hell do I go? Have I pretty much explored this entire area? No. It would seem not. Oh, wait a second. So... Hmm... So, by this map's readings, the only ways I 
should be able to go our this way. Does this open? No. I'm guessing this doesn't. Oh, damn. So, that's about as close as we get to a, another area. And these don't open. No. Is there a switch within these confines? Could be. There's a very unusual corner somewhere. Yeah, should be. No, that's a chaos device. There seems to be an unreachable corner that way. Well, certainly seems intriguing. Never mind, that's just the way the uh, map is designed. What if we were to zoom in here? Okay, that's a lot better. Hmm. Looking at this map, I don't see a lot of places I can go. Let's see... Where in the world... I have no clue, once again, where in the world I'm supposed to go, or what I am supposed to do. There does seem to be... I could try exploring the dead ends for switches. There's not one there. Well, there's another dead end right around here. That doesn't lead anywhere either. Maybe I should try against here. Now... There has to be something within the confines of the maze. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing, we've already been down here. Nothing and nothing. I want... No. Uh, why does it have to take away my wings? I really want to know, why does this game feel so compelled to take away my wings of wrath? Maybe I do need to actually just kind of keep tapping on the uh, individual spaces because I am not seeing anything else on the map. Normally it helps to have a map. In this case, I am not so sure. Ah, get caught. Nothing. Where in the world am I supposed to go? That's not doing anything for me. just got those guys shooting at me. These places that are leading absolutely nowhere. Maybe I should just try shooting? Uh, uh, oh, right. Wall. Wait a minute. Did... 
was all I had to do. No? Piece of shit. Well, if I didn't hate this level now, or if I didn't hate this level already, I, I sure as hell do now. Once again, the, the game is a little mean when it comes to these secrets. Oh god, no. I have a torch. Like hell if I am going to go wandering around in absolute darkness for ages on end while a bunch of crazy snake people try to ambush me from the shadows. No, that is not how I roll. I also roll by blindly wandering into any other area as long as it's brightly lit. I mean, if it's dark lit, then no, screw that. But if it's brightly lit, then yeah, caution is a thing of the past. And also a foreign word. Ah, oh, that was irritating. This game gets pretty cruel. It, it really does. And I don't like it for that. Like, if I had to be honest, I think... I think Heretic is actually a lot tougher than, uh... The original Doom games. Because of how sadistic it can be. Like, in Doom, you have a lot of, uh, hit-scan weapons, and... Sure, very few... There are a few uh, enemies that do hit scan damage, but for the most part, is uh, is my torch wearing off? I can't tell. I can't tell if it's uh worn off. Is it? Okay. Nope. Now it is. Fuck you. Ah, oh, that is just so mean, though. You have the entire level virtually unreachable unless you actually manage to be lucky enough to spot that. Like, let's be absolutely realistic here. If I hadn't been lucky enough to actually find... If I hadn't actually been lucky enough to even find that, uh, mark, that trident, I would not have known how to get up here at all. I would have assumed that the level was broken. And it would have been a... Doom evolution all over again. For those who uh, don't know, there is in fact... At least on the collector's edition that I have... Um, there, there's a, a special bonus level. And Doom... TNT Evolution, where on one of the uh, bonus levels, not all of the keys are there. I kid you not, and I know which one, too, because it drove me insane for the longest time. It's the, uh, it's the yellow key. The key is completely absent in the level, and I was losing my mind trying to find it. Which is really weird, because, uh... 
it, it, it's like, there was one time where it actually worked, and I knew where the yellow key was, but then I start up the game again, and then it's not there, and I'm like, what the hell? What gives? Turns out that's an actual flaw with the game, where uh, sometimes it doesn't load up. Yeah, I will have thought that was the scenario here. I will have thought that the game was actually broken here. And just forgotten about this level entirely. The people who made this game are dicks. Okay, so... Well, this was a waste of time. And effort. My god, whatever happened to keep it simple stupid? I love the other more linear levels. Instead, I've got this labyrinth, and then I have to find one single button on it in order to make any amount of progress. Lovely. And th on that note, I'm gonna go ahead and save... And I'll see everybody else in the next episode. In the meantime, if you like me ranting about bad level design and labyrinths and absolutely having no way to go up unless I get lucky enough to stumble around and find the lucky icon, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!